speaking to some of the residents about the impact all this will have on them. Yeah, that's right, Shirley. We'll be speaking to Sheila Morris, who's lived in St. Margaret's on, in the shadows of uh, Dublin Airport now all her life, more than 60 years. She says she's devastated. She says she feels betrayed and let down by the planning process. As you say, construction on the north uh, runway is still ongoing and it is expected to open sometime after the summer later uh, next year. Now, under the original plans and under the original conditions when this got uh, the go-ahead, there would be no flights on that new runway between 11pm and 7am while the number of flights our number of movements rather it's 65 movements so that's flights in and out would be allowed on the second runway now the DEA which runs Dublin Airport sought to make a number of changes and today the Aircraft Noise Competent Authority issued a number of recommendations in response to that application essentially it would mean that there would be no flights on the new runway between midnight and 6am so you would be allowed flights between 11 and 12 and 6 and 7 which are two of the busiest hours uh, for Dublin Airport it would also see a noise quota system brought in uh, so perhaps bigger aircrafts would up would be noisier uh, and that would the way they would work it out instead of the 65 movements and also a sound insulation grant scheme up to 20,000 for local residents but as I say we've been speaking to Sheila she, she says these changes will have a huge impact on her and her life. We're devastated and we are absolutely betrayed. When you go to bed at night between 11 and 12 they're the most important hours, and six and seven in the morning. So if you don't get a proper night's sleep, that affects you during the day, it affects your health, it brings on other conditions, it brings on anxiety, it brings on depression, it brings on all the other cardi cardiovascular, all the other impacts that affect people. Now, a 14-week consultation period is now underway on these changes while the TAA has issued a brief statement saying it notes today's recommendations. Hey, Paul, thank you for that.